Welcome back everybody, welcome if you are new back to our NASCAR 2003 career mode here. We got $123,000 in the bank, but that's not super important right now. What is important is it's one more race until we finish our research on the first engine power of like developing it and everything. So that's exciting. I'm super excited about that because uh, after this race, we're going to have to go to the garage and build an engine with that. So I don't know how much that will cost us. Right now, it would be, damn, 164K for three races. That ain't happening. We'll probably do like the 55,000 for nine races or something like that, depending on how we do in this race because we've been struggling on money a lot this season. Uh, clearly, we're not been running well because uh, in the beginning of all this, uh, you have a terrible car and we are 43rd in points. So yeah, we've been struggling a lot, but we did finish 18 at Dega uh, last episode, which was phenomenal. We got a good amount of money for that. I was very happy with that, but our picker hasn't been too bad in this one so far, but uh, we do have a points tie up front with Jeff Gordon and Kevin Harvick tied for first. Dale Jarrett is only three points back. Junior is 18 points back, and Tony Stewart has made a comeback back up to the top five. So, gonna be interesting going on to California. We've been good at Daytona and Talladega, so I'm wondering how we're gonna do here with having to slow down, but a really fast track as well. We might not have to slow down too much, so I'm hoping we can do all right here and uh, let's get on the California for also known as Auto Club really and uh, see how we can do All right coming to qualifying the fastest time is a 38.7 I believe it is I think Stewart might have gotten it But uh, fastest I've gotten down to is like a 41.1 like we are like two and a half seconds off at minimum so it's a lot better than we were. We have, I've gained over like a second and a half, I think, on what the stock setup was and stuff. So that's a positive at least. But it's going to be a struggle some of a race slowing down in these corners. I really thought with it being a high speed track, we wouldn't have to slow down too much, but it's still have to slow down a good bit through these corners, I'd say. Which is hurting us for sure because the places we have to slow down at, we are struggling at right now because just our engine, not super good, but I can make mechanical speed. Just not, uh, not the actual speed we need for some of the tracks that we go to. But Daytona and Talladega are going to be really good for us in this career mode. Like, all the time for at least, mainly in the beginning, is going to be good for us. And then that's going to be the only one that's good for us for a while, I feel like. But we're going to really struggle on this uh, first season, as you've already seen. We got 38th there on the first lap, and I think the second lap will be faster. Because uh, I was definitely quicker at the line there for that time around to start this lap. So I think we could qualify top 35 maybe. Because it might be like a low 41, 40, 41. Yeah, just in the 41s. Do we need a better setup, better driver? We need a better car, but that puts us 37th. Big uh, discrepancy in uh, times there. Because we got a 41.5 and we were 38. Got a 41.1 and we went to 37. So I thought it was going to be better. But we're starting to race in the back per usual. So let's see what we can do. MRN is in Fontana, California, home of the California Speedway for today's Napa Auto Parts 500. It's another great day for racing. Barney, this track is known for its long green flag runs. All of that green flag racing here usually results in crew chiefs having to make a very tough decision towards the end. It's the age-old question of who's going to make it on fuel, and more importantly, who isn't. We'll see how things shake out at the end of this race. Sterling Marlin must have had problems in qualifying this week. Yeah, he's definitely not used to having to pick through traffic so early in a race. This could make it an exciting race for him, or it could be disastrous. You just never know when you start in the back. The Nikon car extended his sponsorship contract this week. I don't think there was ever any doubt about them re-signing a deal. Wouldn't surprise me if that deal lasts for many, many years. The 98 car will start this race a little farther back than he's used to. Yeah, he was due for one of these bad starts, though. Nobody can start up front all year. You're going to have a bad qualifying run now and then. For the land of the free and the home of the brave. What was interesting there was Casey Kane was 42nd, and he was at a 42.2. So we actually have some speed over some of the guys behind us, which is a good sign. Maybe we won't finish dead last in this thing. That would be pretty nice for us. I'd be happy with that. Hopefully early on we could try keeping some draft and that might help us a little bit down these straights because our acceleration is not super fast. It's set up for more uh, top speed so we can actually try and keep up on a, like an actual run. Oh, we're already getting tight. First corner. 
I don't know if it was because of the draft or what, but yeah, I was getting tight there mid corner at a lift there, so that didn't help us at all. We fell all the way back to 41st in a, in a corner. I'm hoping we get a lap or two in this and uh, we can actually keep up that pace we were in qualifying off the start. Gotta really push it though. Walk it up to the wall. Get down to John Andretti's draft. Might be able to pass him. See if we can make a move on the bottom. The leader already has six seconds on us. It's the second lap. Trying not to wreck John Andretti immediately, but he is rolling that outside better than us. We definitely don't have that mid-corner speed. Oh, where's loose? Very loose there on the exit, uh, trying to uh, just turn it a little bit and get back in his draft, and it wanted to shoot down the track. But this is going to be another track, it seems like. Every track besides Daytona and Talladega, we're really going to struggle at badly. Because we got 25 laps here, so probably like 12, 13 on fuel is where we're a pit at, and we'll be good for the rest of it. Tire wear is probably going to be rough, I would imagine, with such high speeds. Probably going to wear our tires out pretty bad here. But we're not falling too far off these guys. I need to not push up the track too bad, but we did right there. Just don't go smack the wall, please. Okay, we're good. We're holding Casey Kane behind us for now, which is really nice. So maybe we won't finish dead last actually on speed for once at a normal track. And uh, that would be really nice because every other race that we haven't finished dead last, it's pretty much been either Daytona, Talladega, or somebody blowing their engine in the middle of the race. But we'll see if we can hold off Casey Kane and maybe catch these two up here that are now battling side by side. Messed up in that corner pretty bad. Now Casey Kane's getting by. Hey, this is Casey Kane's rookie year. That's pretty cool. Like to see that. Love Casey Kane. Watching him on uh, Flow in the High Limit series with Kyle Larson and stuff running them sprint cars. He's been doing okay. Uh, I think he qualified. He was like one of the top three or five quick times at a track I watched the other night, which was pretty cool. So he's doing all right out there in the sprint car world. Definitely tough out there for sure. There's a lot of really, really fast guys, but we're having a little bit of a battle here with Casey Kane, which is nice to see. It's one and two is where we've been really struggling. I can't like hold it down here. And if I do, we're going too slow like that. And I really want to right hook Casey Kane just to bring out a caution or something, but no, it'd be stupid. There's no reason to. We can actually have a little bit of a battle with him. Get his draft down the back stretch. Try to dive bomb him into turn three. Use him up a little bit. Cause I wanted to like not finish last on actual speed. That'd be really nice. He's gonna cross us back over here. So we're having a little bit of a battle for dead last here, which is kind of funny in a way. Leader is halfway to lapping us already. So about when we're gonna be pitting is when uh, we'll be getting lapped, I imagine. All right, maybe I just go a little deeper into the corner like that. That wasn't bad, but then I push up really bad mid corner. Oh, it's getting too tight now. Yeah, right front is getting worn out, which is not good because uh, it is getting very tight there mid corner and that is uh, really making me struggle through these corners now. So might need to make a little bit of a uh, like wedge adjustment maybe in the uh, pit lane when we go to pit, but that'll be in like, I don't know, seven laps, six laps, something like that. Pit lane is starting to get a little busy now. There's a handful of cars down there. I feel like uh, Michigan might be a decent track for us as well because it's similar to California here. But uh, I feel like somewhat competitive in a way. Like we still haven't fallen too far back from Casey Kane. I'm just starting to have to wait so long to get on throttle so we don't wash up the track and, excuse me, smack the wall every corner. So that's been a little slow, but I might do a slight tire pressure adjustment as well. But uh, we'll see what happens here the rest of the race. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a wedge adjustment. I think taking out rounds makes you looser. Or putting in rounds I can't remember that's my only problem is I cannot remember if taking out rounds makes you looser or putting in rounds make you looser I want to say negative makes you looser but I could be completely wrong about that and I could just really hurt ourselves more but at the same point uh we don't have a whole lot to lose so might as well try something and I'm also gonna try like getting on the pit road at full ass speed and seeing if this is one of those games back in the day where you could just full throttle into pit lane and it will slow you down as soon as you hit it and you don't get no black flag. So that might happen in this one. I'm not 100% sure. We're going to pit here in a couple laps. We're about to get lapped by Dale Jr. here. So we only got 24 laps to run instead of 25. And oh my goodness, I'm pushing all the way up the track. Not good. Actually, I'm going to pit this time by. 
because we are already a lap down and let's see yep we have a speed penalty okay so never mind that is not uh one of the things that happens uh in this game so that's a little unfortunate so we're gonna pit here i took a little bit out of the wedge changed the tire pressure by one and everybody's checking up super hard here but hopefully we can have a nice clean pit stop here that's what i'm hoping for All right, clean pit stop, but we got our five second penalty here. So that's a little unfortunate. Definitely gonna make us lose some time, but we were already in last anyways. So I figured might as well try it while we're in dead last anyways. Kind of should have waited to do it at a track we were much worse at than this one because we were like still somewhat competitive with last place. So might not have been the best idea, but we'll see what ends up happening. Maybe somebody will blow their motor. It seems like 90% of the races, at least one car blows their motor if uh, they're just running normally anyways. So we'll see if that ends up happening here in this one. But currently we're 41st. Don't know how we're not in dead last right now. I don't know who's behind us or how. Maybe there's already people that have blown their motor. But we're 41st and we had a five second penalty on pit road. But we'll see where we end up at by the end of this thing. We're getting one of our laps back from a uh, guy on pit lane. I don't know who the leader is right now, but uh, we're only one lap down now, so that's pretty nice. I'm hoping that we don't go a second lap down by the end of this thing. The leader just hit the white flag. They're behind us, so it looks like we're gonna stay only one lap down, which is a positive. Somebody looks like they blew their motor down here. We may get up to 40th place in this race. That's four position right there. That we're gonna get 40th and I'm backing out of that so we don't wreck. Because uh, one of our newer sponsors, I should say, well, not newer sponsors, but one of the sponsors we just re-signed to a different deal is like an, uh, a 40th place finish in a race. So that is huge finishing 40th rather than 41st for us because we can actually gain some sponsorship money out of it. And uh, I don't know what happened to the other two, like 42nd, 43rd, but I know that guy just blew his motor. Not sure what happened to the rest of them, like, because I had a five second speed and penalty and I pitted in last. So unless they pitted twice for some reason or blew their motor too, I don't know what happened. But leader is taking the checkered flag. Not sure who won it yet, because we know Junior was in the lead in the beginning. And uh, I don't know if he held it the rest of the time or not. But looks like we're gonna finish 40th. I will take that, hell yeah. That's an improvement for sure. And now we're gonna be able to start our new engine build which is going to be really nice. The leaders are heading in. Yeah, no shit. They've, they're done with the race. I don't know why they're still catching us, but we'll take 40th in that. I'm excited about that. So a uh, solid run by us. And it looks like Dale Earnhardt Jr. did end up getting the win. Congrats to him. Oh, nice. We ended up getting 126, almost $127,000 out of that race. That is solid. Uh, what happened to 43rd? I guess I, I don't know who 43rd is in this race. Can I see race stats maybe? Because I'm interested to see who got 43rd. Greg Biffle did. Interesting. John Andretti and Greg Biffle both went out on lap 10, so I guess they must have blown their motor or wrecked together, one of the two. But there was no caution ever in the race, which is nice. Kyle Petty ended up blowing his motor right there towards the end of the race. So, hell yeah, I'll take a top uh, 40 out of that, and we actually get a good amount of money too. All right, actually gaining a little bit of money. We have $189,000. We do need to go build an engine though. It is more expensive now with the new improvements. Uh, I really want to do 123,000 to knock off three races of it, but I don't think it's smart to do so, but I feel like it's gonna help us a lot. Uh, what, can I see the schedule coming up is what I want to know, I need to find that. Schedule, here we go, okay, so we got the Coke 600, then we got Dover, Pocono might be okay for us, Michigan, Infineon, I don't know how these road courses are going to go. They're probably going to struggle. And then Daytona again somewhat soon. And hang on, wait, that, this is one, two, three, four, five, six. If, if we do it in six races, for Daytona, we'll have a brand new engine, which would be actually huge because we could do really well at Daytona, I feel like. But we're going to struggle with money up until then. Oh, I don't even know. I think it's a bad idea to do six races, but screw it i'm going with it we're building an engine in six uh races we'll see how this goes that might bankrupt us honestly because uh it's gonna be such a struggle right now but uh 
because our cars are not doing the best. Actually, this car is still not that bad because we got 92, 81, and 86, and we've ran uh, a few races. We've ran two races on this one back to back now, and it's actually done fine. And we had two races on this one, but I think we blew up at Darlington, and then three races on this one. It's not doing that bad, so. Uh, I'm gonna keep with car number four for now, and we're gonna go on to Richmond and uh, probably finish dead last, but let's see how we can do here. All right, here in qualifying, I got down to a 22.5 in practice, and the leader, I think, is Rusty Wallace, who qualified pole with a 21.5, so like a second off, so I, honestly, it's not too bad, but for a short track, a second is a lot. Oh, we were about to lose it there. Was not that loose in uh, the practice. I wonder if the track changed a little bit. Just getting a little looser, more rubber on the track and stuff, right? Because we're qualifying bad, like late and stuff. We qualified 40th there with a 22.6. That's not terrible. Let's have a nice, easier second lap, hopefully. Not getting too sideways in the back. That was better. Trying to keep it nice and low in three and four as well. Get a straight line on the exit. That could be a little faster. 559, I'll take that. Is he still gonna be 40th? No, 36th. Wow, that's honestly a lot better than I expected. Welcome to Richmond, Virginia, the site of the action for today's NASCAR Winston Cup race here on MRN. Barney, the fans are eager for the race to begin. Tell us about Richmond. Richmond is a great racetrack. It's always fun to come here. We should see some close racing, so anything can happen here. Kevin Harvick will begin the race in the top five in points. Gaining on the leader is tough when you are in the top five in points. It takes you having a good race and the leader having a bad one in order to gain anything substantial. Ryan Newman will try to use this race to gain a couple spots in the points. You know, all these guys are very happy with their top ten season so far. Hopefully they can mount a charge that will pick them up some more points on the leaders. The Nikon car has been struggling in his qualifying runs this year. Yeah, that's true, but it's not where you are at the green flag, it's where you are at the checkered that matters. He just has to stay focused out there and stay out of trouble, which is sometimes easier said than done when you start in the back. Oh, I was not expecting the fireworks. I think because it's a nighttime race, they're doing fireworks instead of the uh, fly flyover, which is actually pretty cool. But we qualified better than I think Jimmy Johnson, which is very shocking. And uh, yeah, he's right behind us. But uh, 40 laps here. Hopefully we don't damage our car too much in this one because the short track, it's going to be rough. Maybe I should have used a uh, lesser car, like maybe our 86 or 81 car, just because uh, we're at a short track and probably going to get damaged up, I would imagine. We got Michael Waltrip on our inside, trying not to wreck him. He got Dale Jr. behind him, teammates. Oh, I overshot that one. I forgot to see who is uh, higher up in points after last race. We'll check after this one, after the uh, two races of the uh, episode like normal. But with Junior, or not Junior, it was uh, Gordon and Kevin Harvick tied in points. And Junior was only like 18 back and he ended up winning the race. So honestly, I don't know what the points were. I think Gordon finished top five. But I think Junior led the most laps and all that, and I don't know if uh, any of them led laps for points. But yeah, we're already falling back to last. That is what it is. Uh, that's normal here. But now I know at least I can't go faster than 70 miles an hour on the pit road to get a five second speed and penalty. But uh, we just need to get into a groove. Hopefully we can try and stay with these guys a little bit and hopefully we don't go a lap down too fast. But uh, Rusty was out front. I think Gordon was in second. I don't know who has the lead at the moment. It is Rusty still, it looks like. So that's good to know. Would love to see Junior, uh, Gordon get the win and take the points lead. That'd be pretty cool. But uh, we are struggling like always. But hopefully we don't damage our car too much in this one. We haven't damaged it fully yet. Uh, get into a couple people, which is good. I overshot that corner looking at the uh, car in the top left. But... We're going to be pitting about halfway, and we'll see if anybody blows our motor or actually ends up wrecking, because uh, with it being a short track, it's going to be a lot of tight quarters racing, so it could happen. Got Rusty Wallace catching us pretty quick from behind. I think him and Jeff Gordon are pretty far ahead of everybody else in the field, but they are catching us very quick. We haven't lost sight of the guys in front of us yet either, so like we're running decent, running about like a 23-second lap consistently right now. And we're almost halfway on fuel. Probably gonna get halfway on this time by or something like that, but 
we are gonna get lapped uh, right here. Probably gonna go two or three laps down in this one, depending on if there's a caution. Yeah, I'm halfway on fuel. I'm not trying to block. I just got sideways off a of two. Not trying to actually block for Gordon, which would have been uh, made it more interesting, honestly. But Gordon's gonna get by us very quickly here as well. Yeah, we lost an entire lap now, so if there's a caution, we're fucked. If uh, nobody else goes a lap down. But he's getting by us very quickly, so top two have passed us very quickly, but these guys are gonna start catching that lap traffic up there, and it's gonna get quite interesting, so... Maybe there'll be a wreck with the faster cars coming through, I'm not sure, or maybe it could slow some of them up battling with the leaders, that'd be really nice as well. Okay, pit lane's gonna start getting a little busy here. I kind of want to pit like next lap or something, but it might be really busy that lap also. Cause I don't want to get slowed up too much in pit road, but at the same time, uh, I want to get new tires and stuff and try and catch up a little bit to the guys in front of us. Cause I am just losing so much time right now. It's ridiculous. So, but it, look at pit road. Pit road is a cluster right now. So we're just going to have to kind of struggle a little bit for another lap or two with how many people are going on to pit road. Cause that's definitely going to slow people up a lot. Like, unfortunately, my, my, like they, my spotter said, my pace is falling off. You don't say, like, we are very off pace right now. Because, uh, our tire wear isn't the best, even though the tires aren't that much of a, of a problem. I'm gonna pit next time by. Because that literally would put us right at halfway as well. Oh, Dale Jarrett getting into the rough rear of us. That was tight. I almost lost it there. We're sitting in 21st right now. Hell yeah. Love to see it, even though we just haven't pitted yet. That's it. That's the reason why. Yeah, a lot less cars on pit road right now, which is a positive. I'm going to try and slide down behind Robbie here. I can't get down to the bottom. There we go. That was sketchy, but we got down there, and I smacked the inside wall, so I'm going to try and fix that a little. Maybe it'll make us a little bit better. I'm not sure. We'll see, but pit lane not super busy so that was my goal is to try to pit when it wasn't that busy so we didn't get slowed up but let's go guys have a good stop hopefully oh they bump into each other he just shoulder trucked them out the way That definitely slowed down the stop by like three seconds or so. I think about three seconds, which is a little unfortunate. And we're actually fine on the merge because uh, Jeremy Mayfield there was the last one coming up on us. So that actually worked pretty decent. And uh, there's still people going in the pit lane. So I don't know what's happening, if anybody's gonna blow their motor or anything, because uh, I'm shocked that there hasn't been a caution or anything, which is quite interesting. Looks like Gordon was the leader. So he actually just got a lap led. And we are only two laps down right now. So it seems like about every 10 laps we're going to lap down. So I wouldn't be shocked if we're four by the end of this. But uh, I'm hoping we can only go three laps down. That'd be nice because with the leaders in lap traffic, it's going to slow them up a quite quite a bit. But I'm hoping somebody blows their motor and I'm hoping we can get up into a 40 second or a top 40 or something like that. That'd be really nice. Leaders hitting the white flag now. I am just struggling so much. The, four, the 63 on our inside and the four car directly behind us are the two in front of us for position. So I'm getting lapped even by them. Nobody blew a motor in this race. Actually, the 63 is about to want to, to blow a motor. He's gonna wanna, he wants to get straight line. But yeah, we've struggled in this one. Nobody blew a motor, so we're not gonna get any free spots in this one. A lot of the car is damaged all around from just everything. And somebody actually has blown their motor on the final lap. Don't think it's gonna matter because uh, we're not gonna get that position, I don't think. I don't think Ricky Rudd was already a lap down. And yeah, we're still gonna get 43rd there. So even with somebody blowing the motor on the final lap, we didn't even get that spot. So that's a little unfortunate for us. Still got some sponsor money. So 73, almost $74,000 in that race. Jeff Gordon gets the win. Harvick in second. Don't know where Junior was. I know he uh, started really deep in the field, so he probably didn't get very far up. But let's go see the points and how everything has shaken out in this episode. All right, into next episode, we got $81,000. That is nice. Uh, our 
sponsorships are going okay i guess like they're not like hating us or anything right now but uh we're doing okay for them qualifying good it really helped us out uh pit crew happiness is a uh, decent 71 and uh the builders happiness is 76 so everything seems to be going all right so far in the season for us uh not the schedule let's get down to the standings we are struggling but we're still not dead last i think uh shane hall has not ran all the races in the year but either way we're 43rd and how has it shaken up up top i want to say jeff gordon's in the Points lead, he is by only five over Kevin Harvick. Uh, Dale Jarrett, 13 back. Tony Stewart has taken fourth. And Dale Jr. fell back to fifth, 83 points back. So Gordon had a great race. I think he won. Uh, he just won at Richmond, and I, he was a top five at Auto Club. And then Harvick was second at Richmond. I don't know where he was at Auto Club. Junior won Auto Club, but really sucked this last race. What uh, happened to him? I cannot tell because it doesn't uh, let me see the race results here i just see who wins basically but yeah the all-star race is about to happen which i'm not a part of obviously and uh hopefully next episode goes all right because uh, we got our new engine getting built so that's gonna be a few races away five, five more races away so a few more episodes and we'll have a brand new engine which is gonna be perfect timing for daytona and maybe we can get like a top 15 there that would be amazing because we were super fast at talladega and with a better engine that could uh, really play well for us so hopefully you guys are enjoying the crew mode appreciate you guys for watching as always and i'll catch you guys in the next one